Isn't it amazing to think about how much can change in 66 years? Picture this, it's 1956 and the Ten Commandments has just hit the cinema. Fast forward to now in 2023, and the faces that we once recognized are simply relics of a golden age of Hollywood, preserved only in the timeless classic itself. Are you ready for a journey back in time? Of course you are! Who wouldn't be curious to see how these beloved characters look today after more than half a century? So hold on to your seats as we embark on this incredible journey of transformation and reminiscence. Remember, time may age us, but it also adds to our story, making us even more fascinating. Join us as we have a look at what the characters of the Ten Commandments look like today. Charlton Heston as Moses Do you remember Charlton Heston in the role of Moses? Our first character, the prodigiously talented and charming American actor, known for his works in classic American cinema. His portrayal of Moses, an Egyptian prince who discovers his Hebrew roots and becomes a leader, was nothing short of captivating. This was Heston in his prime at the age of 33 years old, bringing the iconic biblical figure to life on the silver screen. His deep and gravelly voice and strikingly handsome features, combined with his extraordinary acting chops, would make him the perfect embodiment of Moses, a man who was grappling with his dual identity, leading his people to freedom. Now remember that scene when he parts the Red Sea? A cinematic masterpiece. However, time, as we all know, spares no one. Fast forward to 2008 and Charlton Heston, the very face we associate with Moses, has passed away at the age of 84 due to pneumonia in his Beverly Hills home in California. His departure was indeed a great loss to the world of cinema. Even in his later years, his appearance remained noble. His face bore the signs of age with dignity and grace, the fine lines resembling the delicate etchings on a well-read book. His eyes, though dimmed with age, still held a glint of wisdom and charisma that characterized his portrayal of Moses. And although Heston is no longer with us today, his legacy lives on, preserved in the annals of cinematic history. He truly was a testament to the saying, stars never die, they merely shine in a different galaxy. And isn't it fascinating how the passage of time will leave its mark on everyone? That also includes the stars that we admire on the screen. It makes you wonder how other characters from the Ten Commandments have weathered the passage of time, now doesn't it? Well, you're about to find out. Anne Baxter as Nefertari Anne Baxter, you remember the radiant Nefertari in the Ten Commandments? An Oscar-winning American actress, Baxter brought life to the Egyptian princess who was Moses' first love and later became the Queen of Egypt as the wife of Ramses. She was also a favored figure by the Pharaoh and the mother of his child. But picture Anne Baxter in her glorious youth, her sparkling eyes shining with ambition and allure. Her portrayal of the captivating Nefertari at just 33 was one to remember. She masterfully presented the complexities of her character, a woman who was torn between her love for Moses and her duty as the queen. However, just like the sunsets, the curtain fell on this glamorous chapter of her life on December 12th of 1985. Tragically, she would pass away from a stroke in New York City at the age of 62. But isn't it striking to see her transformation over the years? Even in her later years, Baxter's timeless beauty was unmistakable, and her face, though aged, had still held that same captivating charm that had once made Nefertari such a memorable character. Yule Brenner as Pharaoh Ramses Who could forget Yule Brenner as the formidable Pharaoh Ramses? An American actor of Russian and Swiss descent, Brenner stole the show as the crown prince of Egypt, the son of Pharaoh Seti, and the consort of Queen Tuya. Brenner's portrayal of Ramses was truly phenomenal. Remember his relentless pursuit of Moses after returning to Egypt? What a spectacle that was. Brenner, at the age of 36, was the picture of youthful vigor and royal grandeur. His bald head, intense gaze, and deep voice perfectly encapsulated the ruthlessness of the pharaoh. But as fate would have it, Brenner's chapter would conclude prematurely. He passed away at the age of 65 in October of 1985 from lung cancer. His transformation over the years was truly remarkable, and even as he aged, he maintained the charismatic persona that defined his portrayal of Ramses. In his later years, his face, lined with age and wisdom, still bore the stoic intensity of a king. A true cinematic legend, his performance will continue to reign in the halls of film history. 
And with his Academy Award and other awards over the lifetime of his career, he will long be remembered for a legend in Hollywood. Edward G. Robinson as Dathan Do you remember the character of Dathan, the villainous Hebrew overseer of slaves from Goshen who would later become the governor of Goshen and take the Hebrew woman Lilia as his concubine? His tyrannical reign was abruptly ended after the worship of the golden calf, and this iconic character would be brought to life by none other than Edward G. Robinson, a Romanian-born American actor. Robinson, at the ripe age of 63, would embody the character of Dathan. With his piercing eyes and stern expression, his performance left such a mark that it's tough to imagine anyone else in the role. However, like a wave receding from the shore, Robinson too passed away. January 26th of 1973, he would die of bladder cancer at Cedar sinai Hospital in Los Angeles. And even as he aged, his face held the same commanding presence. At the age of 79, his eyes still carried the spark of determination and defiance that had once defined the character of Dathan. Yvonne DiCarlo, Sephora Next on our video is the lovely Yvonne DiCarlo, who played Sephora, the elder daughter of Jethro, and later the wife of Moses. This Canadian-born American actress, dancer, and singer delivered a captivating performance. DiCarlo, then 34 years old, was a sight for sore eyes with her radiant beauty and expressive eyes. Do you remember how she taught Moses to shepherd the sheep, and how her fervent belief in God was showcased when she traveled with Moses to Egypt? It is such a performance. On January 8th of 2007, however, DiCarlo would pass away from natural causes at the Motion Picture and Television Hospital in Woodland Hills, Los Angeles at the age of 84. Even in her later years, she retained her grace and elegance, the same beauty that had once brought the character of Sephora to life. And though time may carve out the faces of people, creating wrinkles and lines, making each one a canvas of their life's experiences, their legendary performances remain with us even today. John Derrick as Joshua Who could forget Joshua, the Hebrew stonecutter who would later become Moses' successor? Brought to life by the American actor and director John Derrick, Joshua's character was a testament to resilience and steadfastness. A strapping 30-year-old Derrick embodied Joshua with such fervor and passion that it's impossible to forget him. He was the perfect blend of masculinity and empathy, demonstrating unflinching loyalty and resolve. However, on a rather melancholy note, Derek would pass away May 22nd of 1998, succumbing to cardiovascular disease in Santa Maria, California. His life, much like a candle, had flickered out at the age of 71, leaving behind an enduring legacy. Yet in his twilight years, he still carried that same aura of assertiveness and bravery that had once defined the character of Joshua. Cedric Hardwick as Pharaoh Seti Taking up the scepter as Pharaoh Seti was none other than the illustrious British actor Cedric Hardwick. Remember the ambitious and energetic king of Egypt who strived to maintain his power and supremacy? At the age of 63, Hardwick had brought forth a nuanced and vivid portrayal of the Egyptian monarch, marking an indelible print on our minds. His performance had made everyone believe in his absolute power and the grandeur that the Pharaoh represented. Unfortunately, he bid adieu on August 6th of 1964, succumbing to chronic obstructive pulmonary disease in New York. At the age of 71, he still carried the regal bearing and noble demeanor that had once characterized the Pharaoh Seti. And even as time would etch its mark upon him, the aura of royalty never left him. These characters may seem larger than life on the big screen, but in reality, they are all human just like you and I, and time spares nobody. But it is great to delve into these old memories and relive the golden age of Hollywood through such a great film. Nina Fosh as Bethia All right, let's stroll further down memory lane where we now bump into the Dutch-born actress Nina Fosh, who depicted Bethia in The Ten Commandments. The brave and compassionate daughter of Pharaoh Ramses, she was recently widowed. Now, at the age of 32, Fosh was a vision of beauty and grace, bringing a delightful depth to the character of Bethia. She had filled the role with such kindness and empathy that the character continued to linger in our minds well after the movie was over, creating a lasting impression. However, life, in its typical and unpredictable manner, had other plans. In December of 2008, she would pass away from complications of a blood disorder in Los Angeles, California. 
She was aged 84, still exuding that same bravery and compassion that had once embodied her character of Bethia. Martha Scott as Yochabel. Speaking of brave women, here's another name that's etched deeply in cinematic memory, Martha Scott. She played Yochabel, a Hebrew woman who became Moses' mother. Her courage in saving her son's life by placing him in a basket and sending him down the Nile was a tearjerker. At age 84, Scott gave an outstanding performance as the loving, courageous mother who had risked everything for her child. Her portrayal resonated deeply with many, creating a timeless connection with viewers. Scott left us on May of 2003 from Natural Causes in Van Nuys, California, leaving behind an indelible legacy at the age of 90 years old. And up until her last days, she had emanated the same warmth and motherly love that had characterized her character in the Ten Commandments. Judith Anderson as Memnet Now we dive into the enigmatic character of Memnet, portrayed by the esteemed actress Judith Anderson in the Ten Commandments. Anderson, an American actress of Australian origin, was renowned for her powerful performances in both the theater and on film. She was one of the princess's servants who held wealth of knowledge about the Egyptian royal family and guarded the secret of Moses' true identity. Anderson had brought an air of mystery and intrigue to the character, leaving audiences on the edge of their seats. At the age of 59, she had embarked on the role of Memnet, exuding a sense of cunning and manipulation that only added depth to the character. Her presence on screen was captivating as she expertly portrayed a woman who was holding secrets and suspicions within her. All throughout her career, Anderson had established herself as a tragic actress in the highest of caliber. Known for her ability to convey complex emotion and depth of character, her portrayal of Memnet was no exception. As she breathed life into the character with every line and gesture, and beyond her role in the Ten Commandments, Anderson had a distinguished career on both the stage and the screen. Her talent and dedication to her craft would earn her numerous accolades and cemented her status as one of the great actresses of her time. However, Anderson passed away from pneumonia in Santa Barbara, California at the age of 94 in January of 1992. Her departure would mark the end of an era for the acting world, leaving behind a legacy that continues to inspire generations of performers to come. And even as time has made progress, the memory of Anderson's portrayal as Memnet has remained etched in the minds of those who witnessed her superior talent. Her performance in the Ten Commandments had demonstrated the power of subtlety and nuance, leaving an indelible mark on film. And as we reflect on Judith Anderson's portrayal, we're reminded of the lasting impact that talented actors can have in Hollywood. Through their performances, they transport us into different worlds and allow us to connect with characters on a profound level. For now, we honor Judith Anderson and the legacy that she's left behind. Her portrayal of Memnet serves as a reminder of the power of storytelling and the ability of actors to bring complex characters to life. And as we bid farewell to her, we carry with us the memory of her captivating performance, forever etched in the annals of cinematic history. Vincent Price as Baca And now we encounter one of the most despised characters in the film, Baca, the ruthless and sadistic supervisor of the construction of the city of Ramses. Portrayed by the legendary Vincent Price, Baca represented the dark side of human nature, abusing his power and treating workers with brutality. At the age of 45, Vincent Price was already an established actor that was known for his distinctive voice and captivating performances in horror films. He had brought that same intensity to the role of Baca, infusing the character with an eerie charm that simultaneously repulsed and fascinated audiences. In October of 1993, he would succumb to lung cancer, the result of his long-standing addiction to smoking. He was 82 years old at the time, and even as he aged, the echoes of Baca's sinister presence would linger in his gaze. The combination of his expressive eyes and deep voice ensured that his portrayal remained etched in our memory, and as we traverse through the lives of these actors and their characters, the passage of time becomes more apparent. John Carradine as Aaron now we come to John Carradine, the distinguished actor who had taken the role of Aaron in the Ten Commandments. Carradine's portrayal of Aaron, the elder brother of Moses, only added depth and complexity to the narrative. Aaron, depicted as a loyal and pious man, would often serve as Moses' spokesperson and played a vital role in the liberation of the Hebrew people. 
Carradine, known for his versatility and commanding presence, brought a sense of gravitas to the character, and at the age of 51, he had stepped into Aaron's shoes, portraying him with unwavering devotion and occasional indecisiveness. His performance would exemplify the conflicts that were arising when duty clashed with personal desire, leaving a lasting impact on the audience. Unfortunately, November 27th of 1988, Carradine would pass away at the age of 82 in Milan, Italy due to a heart attack. His departure would mark the end of an era for the acting world, and even as he aged, he retained his aura of wisdom and experience, adding layers of depth to his characters. As we reflect upon Carradine's portrayal of Aaron, it's evident that his legacy extends well beyond his iconic film. He graced both the stage and the screen with remarkable talent, leaving a great impact on the industry. And although his time with us was finite, his contributions endure, reminding everyone of the power of storytelling and the talent of those who bring it to life. So for now, let's take a moment and appreciate the talented individuals who have inhabited these characters, breathing life into them and etching their names in the annals of cinematic history. But fear not, because the journey is far from over. More fascinating stories await us as we delve further into the lives of the characters from the Ten Commandments and the actors who had portrayed them. But take a moment to like this video and subscribe to the channel to get more videos like this in the future. Olive Deering as Miriam now we shine a spotlight on Olive Deering, an American actress who took on the role of Miriam in the Ten Commandments. Miriam, the elder sister of Moses and Aaron, played a pivotal role in the liberation of the Hebrew people, and Deering brought her to life with grace and wisdom. At the age of 38, Deering had graced the screen as Miriam, a woman who was revered amongst the Hebrews for her wisdom and respected for her leadership. She stood as a symbol of strength and perseverance, supporting Moses in his mission to free their people from Egyptian bondage. Sadly, though, in March of 1986, she would pass away from cancer in New York City, and at age 67, her departure was a great loss to the world of acting. However, her portrayal of Miriam remained etched in the hearts of those who had seen her on the screen. As we remember Olive Deering, we're reminded of the profound impact of her performance and what it did to audiences. Her portrayal of Miriam exuded the wisdom and grace that was befitting of a woman who was playing an integral role in the shaping of history. And even as time has passed, the memory of her embodiment of Miriam continues to captivate and inspire. But beyond her role in the Ten Commandments, Deering had a successful career in both film and television, leaving behind a body of work that showcases her great talent and absolute versatility. While her time with us may have been limited, her contributions to the world of acting are timeless. Deering had always held a great dedication to her craft, and her portrayal as Miriam reminds everyone of the power of storytelling and the abilities of actors to breathe life into their characters, forever touching the hearts and minds of those who witness them. Deborah Paget as Lilia The character of Lilia, beautifully portrayed by the talented Deborah Paget in The Ten Commandments, was a young Hebrew woman who had captured the attention and affections of Dathan, the overseer of the Hebrew slaves. Paget's portrayal of Lilia had brought a touch of vulnerability and strength to the screen, and at the young age of 23, she embarked on the role as Lilia, capturing hearts of viewers with her delicate beauty and captivating presence. Her portrayal would showcase the struggles and hardships that were faced by the Hebrew people, emphasizing the resilience and spirit of Lilia's character. As time would pass by, her career had blossomed, and Paget continued to make a mark in the film industry. She starred in several other notable films, solidifying her status as a prominent actress of her time. However, it's also essential to acknowledge the lives of these actors extend far beyond their roles in the Ten Commandments. In the case of Deborah Paget, her career spanned well beyond this iconic film, with her talent leaving a lasting impact in the industry. And as we reflect on her portrayal of Lilia, we're all reminded of the power of empathy and the ability of actors to transport us into different worlds. Her performance allows for the feelings of struggle and triumph of the character, creating a connection that transcends the screen. And while her time in the spotlight may have been relatively brief, she did leave quite the impact in the hearts of those who had watched her perform. Her talent, coupled with her undeniable beauty, added depth and authenticity to the character that she portrayed. And so for now, we celebrate the legacy that Deborah Paget left behind. Her contributions to the world of film continue to be cherished, reminding everyone of the enduring power of cinema and the transformative nature of storytelling. 
The Ten Commandments stands as a monumental cinematic masterpiece of achievement that continues to captivate audiences even to this day. The direction of Cecil B. DeMille, the epic biblical saga depicts the story of Moses from his infancy to the leading of the Israelites out of Egypt and receiving the Ten Commandments from God. It featured an all-star cast led by Charlton Heston, breathtaking visual effects, grandiose sets, a sweeping musical score by Elmer Bernstein, and beyond all of its technical achievements, its enduring appeal lies in the exploration of themes like faith, freedom, and destiny. The Ten Commandments combined elements of drama, adventure, and religious symbolism, creating a compelling and emotionally resonant experience. It remains a cultural touchstone and has become a staple of television broadcast during the religious holidays. Even today, the popularity of the Ten Commandments still endures, perhaps the result of powerful storytelling, memorable performances, and its ability to bring an ancient biblical tale to life with both grandeur and reverence. The Ten Commandments would receive several awards and nominations, and while it did not win any major Academy Awards, it did receive one Oscar for visual effects. It was also nominated in six categories, which included Best Picture, but ultimately lost. However, it did receive recognition and accolades outside of the Academy Awards, having won the Golden Globe Award for Best Motion Picture in a Drama, recognizing its great excellence in the dramatic genre. And while the film's impact and enduring popularity are not solely defined by its awards, it remains a significant and influential piece of cinematic work, well-beloved by audiences for its grand scale, timeless storytelling, and iconic performances. What did you think about this video? Be sure to leave your comments down below, leave a like on this video, and subscribe for more like it in the future. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.